Welcome to the basic obstetric ultrasound training course for healthcare providers. Ultrasound plays an important role in identifying pregnancy related conditions that put the mother or fetus at risk during delivery. In most low income countries, there is a shortage of people experienced in performing pregnancy ultrasound. This course was created to train healthcare workers to perform basic pregnancy ultrasound in parts of the world where formal training is not available. The videos, as well as other educational materials available at tinyurl.com backslash uwultrasound, are designed to be used in a two-week ultrasound course. The hands-on sessions in the trainer's guide are an essential component of this course and must be supervised by an experienced ultrasound practitioner. This is not a comprehensive pregnancy ultrasound course and does not result in an official certification or diploma. After you finish the course and pass the written and practical tests, we strongly recommend you have at least 40 hours of scanning experience with clinical mentoring before you undertake unsupervised scanning. My name is Dr. Christina Adams Waldorf, and I will be narrating this first video in our pregnancy ultrasound series. This will serve as an introduction. Please visit our website for access to all of our video and training materials. Ultrasound plays a critical role in reducing maternal and neonatal mortality. Nearly 300,000 women die during pregnancy and childbirth every year. About 40% of pregnancies have some sort of complication. In 15% of all pregnancies, the problem can be life-threatening. With ultrasound training, healthcare providers can identify many of these conditions early in pregnancy and refer high-risk pregnancies to a hospital for safer delivery. The information you gain from ultrasound, in addition to what you learn from the history and physical exam, will help you and the mother determine where it is safest for her to deliver her baby. In this course, you will learn how to operate ultrasound equipment accurately, safely, and efficiently as a part of routine pregnancy care. Ultrasound will not take the place of your current antenatal care practice but it will become a natural part of it. Here is an example of how ultrasound can help you determine the proper course for delivery. A 20-year-old woman who has had no problems in her pregnancy plans to deliver her first baby at your health center. She visits you for a routine antenatal visit at 32 weeks. You detect a condition called placenta previa by ultrasound. Right now, this image will not make much sense to you, but in just a few days, you will glance at this image and know exactly what it shows. This image shows a placenta previa, which is a condition in which the placenta covers the cervix. Here is the cervix, the placenta, amniotic fluid, which is black and surrounds the placenta, and the bladder, which is also black because it contains fluid. The placenta completely covers the internal opening of the cervix, called the os. This is called a placenta previa. If this patient attempts a normal vaginal delivery, she is very likely to hemorrhage and die during the birth. From this training, you will learn that all mothers with placenta previa that is still seen by ultrasound at 32 weeks need to deliver at a hospital. Because of ultrasound, this patient had a cesarean section at the hospital at 38 weeks and is still alive. In the next two weeks, we will cover how ultrasound works, how to use the ultrasound equipment, how to see the anatomy of the fetus in the first, second, and third trimesters, how to determine pregnancy dating by ultrasound, 
and how to determine the normal and abnormal appearance of the placenta, cervix, and amniotic fluid. Other topics that will be reviewed include how to determine fetal position and fetal number, and how to identify complications in the pregnancy, like a breech baby, placenta previa, ectopic pregnancy, and a miscarriage. There is a particularly important ethical standard in this course and in ultrasound practice. When doing ultrasound, never reveal the baby's gender, even if the mother or other family members insist. Our practice is to tell the patient and the family before scanning that the gender will not be revealed. We will discuss this issue throughout the course. Please refer frequently to the participant handbook and review its content, which can be obtained on our website. The handbook includes a daily schedule, copies of PowerPoint slides, review questions for lectures, hands-on session and notes pages, a scanning checklist, and fetal measurement charts. Each day of our training, there will be a different theme. For example, day four will show different types of fluid and the placenta. On day five, we will discuss multiple pregnancy and fetal position. This training involves both lecture and hands-on practice. We will start with lectures in the morning, followed by hands-on scanning in the late morning and afternoon. The hands-on sessions are in gray boxes on your schedules. We'll also break for tea and lunch. Lecture time will include much more than PowerPoint slides. There will also be demonstrations, group discussions, case studies, and other exercises. You will stay very active in this course. In this course, we will emphasize the hands-on sessions where you will learn by scanning with a partner while being supervised by instructors. Each hands-on session will have a specific goal and detailed instructions. You will begin by scanning each other, and then you will scan patients in clinic. The key to becoming successful at scanning is practice. The more you scan, the more you will learn. Take every opportunity you have to practice scanning. We recognize that you are already trained and skilled in caring for obstetric patients, so share your experience with each other. You will become even more effective in your work with ultrasound. Give yourself time. Ultrasound is different from your prior training, so it may feel difficult at first. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated. With a little effort, you will quickly learn the skills that are necessary to be successful in ultrasound. The key to success is to practice. Scan as often as you can. Here are some other tips for success in this course. Please be on time for all sessions. Ask questions any time you are unsure about something in lecture or during the hands-on sessions. Be willing to make mistakes. This is part of the learning process. Work collaboratively with each other. There are no formal exams in this course. However, there is a list of skills you must perform successfully during OB ultrasound. Instructors will watch you scan and demonstrate those skills. For a list of these skills, please check the Scanning Skills Competency Checklist in the Participant Handbook. We also want to hear your feedback about our teaching approach. You will complete feedback forms throughout the course and a formal evaluation at the end of the training. This is your opportunity to help us improve this course for you and future classes. 
We will also conduct a pre- and post-training assessment to evaluate how much you have learned as a group and how well we are teaching the course. Today we will determine how much you already know about OB ultrasound with a quick written assessment. We will repeat this assessment at the end of the course and compare the group scores. Thank you for your attention and interest in learning pregnancy ultrasound. Please pause the video now to ask your instructor any questions about this course. We thank the following individuals who played a major role in course development. Dr. Robert Nathan, Dr. William Marks, and Nicole Goldsmith, registered sonographer. Many other individuals contributed valuable time and expertise in the instructional design and materials development, including Dr. Christina Adams Waldorf, Dr. Scott Barnhart, Dr. Michael Kawuya, Susan Kingston, and Stacy Lissett. Finally, we wish to thank Dr. William Marks for the use of images from his book, Ultrasound, A Practical Approach, and Jennifer Summers and Jan Hamanishi for graphic design and illustrations. The University of Washington Department of Radiology has trained healthcare workers in pregnancy ultrasound in many parts of the world. If you have questions about this video or course, please contact Dr. Robert Nathan, Dr. William Marks, or Dr. Christina Adams Waldorf. This course was collaboratively developed by the University of Washington Department of Radiology, Obstetrics and Gynecology, and the International Training and Education Center for Health, ITEC. It was made possible through a grant from the GE Foundation. Consano also contributed funding. We are grateful for the video production sponsored by the University of Washington Institute for Simulation and Interprofessional Studies. Please visit our website at tinyurl.com backslash uwultrasound to access all of our training materials.